It's been awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's like, okay, how many times can I say awesome? No, it's, it has actually been supremely awesome though. I mean, I'm a huge interior decorating fan. So this has just been joyous for me. And then like seeing all the, all the cool artwork. I mean, I'm like staring as like we're talking, right? Like this is all this, this wall of beautiful artwork just like blown up everywhere. Yeah. It's really cool. And I love theming and, uh, and being around this, like, and the history of it all, like the, you know, in the archives and everything. Like to be around that history is so cool. I'm geeking out, so <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> no, it's really awesome. It's been, and everyone's been so nice and helpful. So it's, it's been cool. Well, one, I really like doing Lady Death Remark specifically because uh, her, her white skin and white hair makes the whole experience much quicker. So I can do a lot more gestures, which is great, with the hair and stuff. And um, I try to fit it within the negative space. Of, I mean, most people do. I try to fit it in the negative space of the, of the piece. And when I know that there is a a remark opportunity or whatever that we're going to be using a cover for, I try to deliberately make some quote unquote negative space to fit that need. So, so with Lady Death, um, I have been corrected that I've given too much of a smile a lot of times, <laughs> which fits much more with Hellwitch, right? But like, so I have to like make. Lady Death's face as serious as possible. And um, let's see, and then Hell Witch. Um, I never draw her wings consistently. So each cover set that I do of her, I'm trying to figure out my, like the way I'm gonna land on. I keep experimenting and yeah, it's inconsistent. <laughs> the shape's right, but like texture, how many bends, how many forks, like yeah, that's inconsistent. Um, and then with La Muerta, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. La Muerta, I personally see a flaw. I get frustrated because every time that I draw it in the line work and then I see it colored is that I think I make her eye makeup too close in, like too small of a bridge. I need to give that a little broader look. So that's my own self critique that I'm, I looked at it when we were in the, when we were in that other room. Um, during the, the celebration, I was like checking it out and I'm like, mm, I don't know, those look too close. <laughs> yeah, I think there's also this, I mean, it's not, I don't necessarily think of it as a competition, but there's almost like you have to rise to the occasion. So when you see your other fellow artists like doing something spectacular, like, okay, that's the new bar that we're, we are expected now to deliver. At least that's how I see it, but I'm also, you know, the one who self abuses with lace and stuff like way too much and, you know, carved ivory and crap. So <laughs> he gives me um, like a list of stuff. I mean, he gives me a schedule essentially, and then things are themed and um, themed or he, uh, I have been getting story ones when I do like the retail stuff. But otherwise, it's like usually heavily themed and he'll tell me the theme, the context and provide some references. And then I will try to deliver him something that he'll like. But there has been times where I've had to go back to the drawing board, even in the layout stage, like three or four times. <laughs> one time we even abandoned one entire thing because I just couldn't get it. Um, but no, it's pretty streamlined, though. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. trying to push the envelope not I mean plenty of people have done like what I would consider now like a kind of a standard edgy theme within the lady death and the hell witch aesthetic but I try to like okay how can I do something a little different so um, there's the Easter piece that I did recently that I think has now kind of sort of been revealed okay and like that one was a little bit pushing it because I was putting her in this kind of hyper cute, albeit sexy, but something cute, which I was like, let's see if Brian's going to be kosher with that. Anyways, it was great. I think it turned out great. I mean, I still edged it up, right? Like made it a little sexier, put the ears on. It's all in pleather, but that basic kind of baby doll dress is not something I think that when most people think of Lady Death that they go, oh yeah, 
baby doll dress, right? So. When I'm working on something like really systemic like this, like where I'm just like, okay, down, one down, one down, where I'm doing all these remarks, um, I listen to murder podcasts. So I'm a fan of true crime. <laughs> Like shocking, I know, but I'm a fan of true crime, so I listen to a lot of murder. Brett, Brett hates it. Um, like, it's interesting because guys seem to not enjoy true crime and murder as much as women do. So I know my ladies will understand me. But yeah, it's really great. It's it's really comforting. It's kind of like, you know, it's storytelling. So I'm getting a story essentially, but it's a real story. But yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. I really, um, I don't like necessarily listening to a lot of lyrics music when I'm drawing or writing, but I always try to match vibes. Whatever I'm working on, I try to match vibes. So if I'm drawing like a hyper sexy cover, I'm going to listen to some sexy music. If I'm li like doing some like really kind of metal cover, I'm going to listen to metal. So I try to match the vibes as much as possible because I'm, 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 I don't know, it moods me. And if it moves me, then the mood can take me. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh gosh, for different reasons though. I mean, number one, definitely Lady Death because um, there's such a, there is such a versatility to her. And Brian gives us a lot of breathing room in terms of costume creation. I'm a huge fan of fashion. So I really try to play that up as much as possible um, in my cover work. And I, I just think that the expressive versatility of Lady Death is really, freeing actually so yeah she's my favorite but um i also for different reasons i have a real uh i'm developing a deep love for la muerta because playing with just black and white and the inks is like or and the ink tones is super fun too so that one's in development hello just fun because she's sexy i mean like overly sexual right so of course it's like why isn't she fun i don't know i like them all <laughs> whatever <laughs> Coffin's entire environment is very positive. And I've said this before in other interviews where it's like, you know, there's obviously a dark horror goth kind of theme to not just the company, but the fans. And everything's kind of edgy and metal and whatever. And there's like societal assumptions about that, that co but that Coffin and the Sworn Nation completely defy, right? Because they are like the nicest people I've ever met on the planet. And that really has influenced me. I already had like a policy where I don't really discuss anything too crazy like on my walls and things on social media. And you know, there's a there's a level of professionalism within Coffin that, um, and it's not stuff like I can still, you know, you can still sit there and make, you know, dick jokes and whatever, that's fine. But there's a professionalism when it comes to the business side of things that is incredibly admirable because the, the level of communication, the promptness of, of communication and the promptness of, you know, just the day-to-day -day dealings of when you're working with editors and a company, whatever, it's, it is phenomenal and it's the best experience I've had. So. There is this, you, we were saying earlier, there is that sense of like, I want to one-up myself. Like it's fun when I see like my very first cover that I did for Lady Death. That's like fun, like somebody comes and has me sign it. It's not that it's bad, I still like it, but knowing what I can do now is fun. And so to the fact that I get to draw these staple characters consistently, there's this kind of joy in seeing my growth. And so that keeps me, I don't wanna ever, I don't wanna ever feel stagnant. I don't wanna get bored. So I try to like, challenge myself with lace and carved ivory like that's what I do because I'm like oh wow, that'll be fun like that'll be cool I mean I hate myself while I'm doing it but then the end result is worth it right so <laughs> but I absolutely hate myself while I'm doing it draw every okay there's a few so you gotta draw every day even if you're talking to somebody on the phone whatever doodle you need to doodle just like doodle all the time um and if you are young thinking about going to art school you don't have to go to art school so you can learn a lot of things online 
for free these days, I would recommend that you go and get a, a marketing and business degree, actually. So, and that way you can actually learn how to market yourself and run a business functionally because that's probably one of the skills that is in need in this industry. <laughs> so, but if you can market yourself because as an artist, you are selling yourself and you're selling your skills. And so you need to be able to do that efficiently and, you know, with the best, with the best, most up-to-date knowledge, whatever. They're awesome. They're so cool. They're, they're so cool. They're so nice. They are so kind. They, the enthusiasm is incredibly addictive. And, um, I mean, I, I count, I carry my, I carry my challenge coins with me literally everywhere. It's in my purse at all times. It's not a con purse. It is just my purse. Um, I am in the Pittsburgh area. There are some fiends there, so I never know I'm going to run into them. <laughs> Anyways, no, I mean, it's just the, the, the joyous fanaticism that is in the Sworn Nation is unchallenged and and the fact that everyone's so nice like it's like there's a lot of fandoms that can be so like toxic and aggressive and it gets stuck on that and it kind of poisons the well and like nobody wants to talk about anything anymore but that's not the case it's like there's there's enough like self-policing that it's like everyone's putting that kindness out there to get that kindness back which is i know part of the you know mission statement for coffin yeah it's awesome it's awesome